And welcome back, everyone, for week 16 of the 2019 NFL season. Man, we are almost through this year. Wow, where did the time fly? Once again, due to scheduling problems, Billy B cannot join me this week. So we're going to go solo. Here are my picks. Now, we've got three games on Saturday this week. And while um, I'm not going to pick them against the spread, what I like to do is I like to, to tease the outcomes in those. We'll look at the the, uh, the ATS number and the total, and we'll tease them. The first game has the Houston Texans going to Tampa Bay, where the uh, Buccaneers are three-point dogs at home, and the to total in that game is 49.5. So what we'll do is we'll tease Tampa Bay up to plus 9, and we'll tease the total down and take over 43.5. The second game has Buffalo Bills going to New England, where the Patriots are six and a half point dogs at home, and the total in that game is thirty six and a half. Let's tease Buffalo up to twelve and a half, although teasing New England down to uh, a half a point would be fine as well. We'll tease the total up and take under the forty two and a half in that game. And the third game has the uh, Los Angeles Rams going to San Francisco. The Niners are six and a half point favorites in that game. And the total is 45. We'll tease the Rams down to just a minus half a point, And we'll tease the total down to 39 and take the over. I think the um, the Niners have got getting some uh, injuries on the defense. And they've been scoring a lot of points in the last couple of games. So we'll tease those six. A $25 bet will get us $175. Now on to my main picks. The first game we're going to look at has the Baltimore Ravens going to Cleveland, where the Brownies are 10-point dogs at home. Oh, what can I say about the Ravens' offense here? Just steamrolling their opponents. Usually with teams with a good offense, they let off the gas and they stop passing the ball. But the Ravens are a running team first, and they're head and shoulders better running than any other team in the league. They lead the league with, a, I think it's a plus 215-point differential. They score about four more points than the next uh, team in the league. Ironically, the Browns beat the Ravens earlier in this year, uh, in the season. This might be a little bit of payback for Baltimore. The coaches for these two teams couldn't be more opposite. John Harbaugh is probably the head coach of the year. Meanwhile, Kitchens for Cleveland might get fired. I think the 10 points is, uh, you know, like, I say this often, used to be a lot of points, but now in today's NFL, it's nothing. Let's lay those points, and let's take the Baltimore Ravens, minus 10. The second game we're going to look at has the Detroit Lions going to Denver, where the Broncos are seven-point favorites at home. So many injuries on Detroit, it's, you know, uh, they're down to their third-string quarterback. Uh, Drew Locke, ever since he took over at quarterback for Denver, the um, Broncos have played a lot better. Okay, you could sort of understand there. They had a bad game last week in the snow in Kansas City. But uh, since he took over, they played so much better on offense. That defense is very good as well. Uh, you know, they clobbered Houston just a couple of weeks ago. In one of those really weird quirks of the schedule, I think this is Denver's uh, second home game in like six weeks. So it'll be good to get some home cooking. I think... Denver routes the Lions this year. So let's lay this game. Let's lay the points and let's take the Denver Broncos minus seven. The third game we're going to look at has the Arizona Cardinals going to Seattle, where the Seahawks are nine and a half point favorites at home. Despite all the wins that Seattle has, they don't really beat teams by that many points. There's only been one game where they've actually beaten a team by more than these nine and a half points. Ironically, that was Arizona earlier in the year. Arizona might be looking for a little bit of payback here. The Seattle Seahawks might be peeking ahead, though, to next week's tilt against San Francisco, a game that's going to really have a lot of ramifications when it comes to the playoffs and seeding. I think the uh, Cardinals can hang in there, maybe get a backdoor cover. So you know what? Let's take the points. Let's take Arizona plus 9.5. And, and the fourth game has the Dallas Cowboys going to uh, Philadelphia, where the Eagles are 2.5 point. Dogs at home, yes, Dallas played really well last week, and they've got a very good offense, but I think this might just be a little bit uh, of an overreaction. They, they, they spanked, I think it was the Rams, a team that's really hard to figure out. They they beat them pretty bad last week. Uh, Philadelphia's been winning some ugly games. They got a miracle cover last week, 
But uh, to be two and a half point dogs at home to a division foe with the same record, I just don't see it. It's good value here. I always like to take home division dogs. So let's do that. Let's take the Philadelphia Eagles plus two and a half. I want to talk about a couple of over-under plays as well. Carolina's at Indianapolis, and the total in that game is 46. Neither of these defenses is playing very well right now, uh, Carolina especially. And both teams can score some points. I think this is going to sail easily over the 46. So let's take over in that game. And the second game has the Kansas City Chiefs going to Chicago. The total in that game is 43 and a half. Uh, Kansas City's played pretty good defense recently. You know, they're known for their offense. The offense hasn't exactly been lights out. I I, I know they, they put up a lot of points against, I believe it was Oakland a couple of weeks ago, but the the offense isn't as good as you think, and the defense is better than you think. Meanwhile, the Bears' defense is very good as well, and um, uh, Trubisky, the quarterback, always seems to struggle. The Kansas City Chiefs have only allowed uh, something like uh, – an average of 9.3 points against in their last three games. I think this is going to go under. So let's take the under 43 and a half. All right, here are the let's take the man's money party play and the six game six play teaser. For the parlay, we'll take Baltimore minus 10, Denver minus 7, Arizona plus 9.5. Let's get greedy and take Philadelphia on the money line. I think they're going to win that game. We'll take over the 46 in the Carolina Indy game and under the 43.5 in the KC Chicago game. A $25 bet will get us $1,394.74. And for the teaser, we'll take Baltimore minus 4, Denver minus 1, Arizona plus 15.5. Philadelphia plus eight and a half. They're actually two point two and a half point dogs in that game. Uh, Carolina Indy game will tease that one down and take over forty. And in the Kansas City Chicago game, we'll tease that one up and take under forty nine and a half. A twenty five dollar bet will get us one hundred seventy five dollars. Good luck. All right, and those are my picks for this week. Good luck to you. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, and leave a comment in the section below. For Billy B, I am Geo. Let's take the man's money. <laughs>